living in Los Angeles, star-studded refers to movie premieres more than the night sky. To see anything this amazing, we have to drive a couple of hours. But we do love gazing up at our 72 and sunny skies and getting out in our wildly differing microclimates. With nearly 20 million people and all of our neighboring species, LA is ripe for bio-inspired innovation. This is our ancestral place. Getting out in nature is where we can have new ideas arrive. Creativity will get ignited. Being able to get outside can bring biomimicry alive. When we're reconnecting with nature, we're rewilding our minds. And so for those of us that are biomimics and practice biomimicry, it's really important to connect with our local community. And being together with these people, they're my people. They're curious. They want to solve the problems of the world. That's my people. And it's no surprise we find a lot of our people at NASA and JPL. When a rover is actually on Mars, Mars is its laboratory. This partly inspired us to create biomimicry labs, as biomimicry works best when it's place-based, ideally out in nature. We began in this place, the LA River, and have developed nature-inspired solutions to not only keep trash from making its way to the ocean, but to keep it out of the river in the first place. Being an educator and bringing the outside world into the classroom is one of the most important things that we can do. Investigating nature is what biomimicry does. It explains how things work, relates to what the kids need to learn, and to invent things new. One of the lesson plans that we have created with the support of Lockheed Martin and the Biomimicry Institute is all about spiders and how they move and related it to robotics, which excites students and they see the flow of fluids moving, get inspired by being able to create their own mechanical movements. What I love about being a biomimicry researcher is having the ability to work at the microscopic to the macroscopic level on a variety of problems in multiple disciplines. Our current research, to be published in a European academic journal, began by exploring the value of ecosystem services provided to us by our mountains, the nearby Pacific Ocean, and the trees that line many of our streets. It's evolved into an exploration of other locally attuned and mutualistic relationships. For example, and simply put, the tree feeds the squirrel, and the squirrel seeds the tree. Beavers, like humans, are keystone species. How they build homes for themselves creates habitat for others. Certainly all of us at this interchange of nature-inspired exploration appreciate how critical it is that we as humans reciprocate the life-giving value we receive from nature. We are Biomimicry LA. And we too are at your service in inspiring and advancing this vitally important work. Let's create more conditions conducive to life together.